Hello, Autumn here. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to be sharing this finished Enchanted Forest Tree painting. It has a lot of layering in the foliage, which I did with leaf prints. It was kind of an experiment, so I'm super excited to share the finished video today. And thank you for joining me. Art That Inspires and Uplifts by Autumn Rosario Hall. To begin with, I sketched out the tree and then began blocking in the shape of it with a watery wash of raw sienna mixed with a bit of blue. And this painting was more of an experimental piece, so I didn't sketch out any of the other details besides the tree and just was going to focus a lot on the leaf prints, which I'll be adding in the top half of the painting. Next, I began adding the details to the bark of the tree and I made sure to have all the lines follow the kind of swirl of the trunk upward and then out. And this step really helped bring the tree to life. Um, I really enjoy painting and sketching trees and figuring out how to do the bark and each tree's unique bark pattern is really important to giving your tree that realistic feel but also to differentiate between different types of trees. This particular tree is a dwarf crab apple and it's based off a sketch from my sketchbook. And then after getting the bare minimum of the background established, I was finally able to begin the leaf printing which I was the most excited for. So this is up here where I did a test to make sure it was printing the way I wanted before adding the prints to the actual painting. The first leaves that I printed, I used a mix of ultramarine blue and a purple eyed mixed up to darken the color of some of them. And for the actual leaf, I used a potato leaf from my garden because the underside of the leaf had a lot of veins and it made a really nice print. And I used a couple different sizes of the potato leaves so I could get varying sizes within the foliage of the tree. Then after getting my base layer of leaf prints established, I went back in with some watery washes of acrylic paint. I use a turquoise, which I don't remember its name, and a bright blue by Liquitex, and a little bit of the liquid cerulean blue by Liquitex. And while that was drying, I decided the tree needed a little more love, so I began working in some more shadows and layers of details on the bark. depth of the painting so I added in a bit of darker purples in the background and began adding the shadows in the under foliage of the tree and for this layer I used phthalo blue. Then it was time to begin adding a bit of glows in the background which is one of my favorite things to add. And from here it was just working on bringing out the details of the painting layering the paint and working in those little bits of enchantment that gave it the feel of the twilight moment that I was going for in the painting.
this painting, I didn't really sketch out or plan the little details. I just went off what the patterns in the paint suggested to me and what I thought the painting needed to pull it all together and really push that feeling of enchantment and hidden wonder. I did end up spending quite a lot bit longer on it than I had originally thought I would since my focal port was the leaf prints to start with, but I really got into the details of the foreground and then added a lot more layering in the leaf prints on top because I did not want it to just look like I stamped a bunch of leaves on it and left it at that. Like I wanted it to have depth and interest and kind of have that appearance of a real tree. So I was actually pretty happy with how it turned out and will definitely experiment more with the leaf prints in the future. So thanks for joining me in the studio today. If you have any questions about the leaf printing or the painting, just put them in the comments and I'll get back to you. And if you're interested in seeing more, check out my portfolio at autumnrosariohall.com.